Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Soma. I actually asked on Twitter whether people would like to see this as a Let's Play or whether they would like me to stream it. I've decided to go for a Let's Play because it allows me to focus a lot more on the game than I would on chat. However, I am only recording at 720p at 30 frames per second. This is just because it's the only way I can attain 30 frames per second when playing this game, unfortunately. However, it would have been the same case if I had streamed it, so hopefully you will bear with me on this Let's Play. And I have messed about with the settings a little, which is why there is a continue button. But we'll dive in and start a new game. Yes, I don't mind overwriting the last save. Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Like that. Why now? Why now? Who's David Munchie? Why is there never enough time? For what? Christ. Our phone is vibrating very loudly. We should probably answer it. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so we just had a strange dream uh, where it appeared our brain was bleeding and there was a woman named Ashley involved and there was a mention of that doctor's name, so it seems... Where did uh, I put the tracer fluid? I, I was talking there, Simon. So it seems we were more or less, um, I guess, having a bit of a, a panic thinking about this brain scan that we may have to be having. Or not that we may have to be having, but it sounds like we are going to be having because of that phone call. So we have to look for tracer fluids. Oh. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid, where are you? Can I crouch? I can crouch. Oh, somehow my crouching moved to comb. All right, nothing in there, about here. A lighter, we have a book. Robin McConnell, hooked. Mark and Diana Miller has finally caught a break. They've managed to save up enough money to take the family on that vacation to Hawaii they've been talking about for so long. But as the sun sets over Waikiki Beach that first day, Mark and Diana's paradise turns into a nightmare as swimmers are caught in thousands of thin strings stretching from somewhere below the waves. Slowly, swimmers are pulled screaming into the dark water. Desperate to get out of harm's way, their seven-year-old son, Charlie, is caught by the vicious tendrils. Suspenseful, suspenseful mystical and absolutely terrifying, Hooked will pull you in. It will leave you absolutely hooked. I wonder how many other YouTubers and streamers made that joke. Oh, oh, I can click it and uh, it it puts the text up. Cool. Right, well, there's no tracer fluid there. Also, I can throw things apparently, so... I mean, there wasn't any point in me throwing it, but I did it. Hey, Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was... Something you were doing? Was it this weekend? Or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, miss you mean it. End of messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Wait, what day is it? Because he asked if we were working the weekend, so when was that voicemail left? Oh. 
Okay, we have nothing in those drawers. Okay, I can move this closer to me. Um, let's just put it back. Huh, I actually think I put it away slightly neater. I'm impressed. Okay, so we have a camera and a couple of lenses it looks like. So I guess we're interested in photography. I guess we're interested in photography. Is that a hotel? Well, it's, I mean it's a street, but obviously I think that's a hotel in the background. We have a bug of some sort. And a mug of coffee? Or a cup of coffee? Or tea! Could be tea. Looks nice outside. Let's open. Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. We have a sticker here that says grimoire. Okay. Um. Photograph of a beach. Grimoire. And I'm guessing that's us and some girl. Dr. Erin Peak. Um. Tracer fluid. Rajatan 755. Grimoire presents Robin McConnell. Meet and greet book signing, 11th of January 2015. Books, comics, board games. And a photo of our legs. The notepad with things scribbled on it, which I can't click on and read. We look sad and it's sunny. I mean, it's, I'm saying we. The drawing does. I don't want to read too much into the drawing. Get well soon. Love, Mum. Oh, thank you, Mum. How kind of you. Downtown accident kills young women. Friday, April 10th, 2015. Toronto. Yesterday, a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Blur Street and Spadina Road. The mother and her children, travelling in a robust SUV, were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky. As the car crashed into the passenger side, Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damage and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, 26, survived but with complicated results believed to leave him with permanent brain damage. This is an arco about us, okay? The driver of the SUV, whose name has not been released by police, Claims it was an accident and practically unavoidable. And there's nothing that we're interested in in the other side of the paper because that's how newspapers work. Well, no, because sometimes there might be a news article on the other side that you're interested in. But specifically that clipping. Cinema variety. Summer blockbusters. Japanimation. Bigger than ever. Stunts versus CGI. What's a bottle movie? In theatres December 13th, Massive Recoil 2, Flawless Execution. Alright, cool. Um, I guess we should use our laptop then. Simon Jarrett at email.net. From David Munshi, subject, Neurograph Session. Okay, it's today's Saturday, 2nd May. Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto. But since we're guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you and confirm. So, we are going for the scan then. Dr. Erin Peak, subject new prescription, date 28th of April 2015. So that's a couple of days before the neurograph session email. Dear Mr. Jarrett, I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months, at least, and you'll need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for Prazosin to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest and I'll see you next week. Sincerely, Dr. Erin Peake. And this must be the oh, email I to hit send. that we didn't send. Yes, to Jesse, Saturday off. Uh, we wrote it the 1st of May, so we wrote it the night before. Hi Jesse. since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I've got that doctor's appointment tomorrow, i.e. I'm not coming in to work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store. And please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They're starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they are put on shelves where people are able to actually see them. Good luck, you'll need it, Simon. 
So we can send the email now. But is there any point? Because it's Saturday now and that's, I mean, our doctor's, it says, <laughs> I had so many thoughts there. The doctor's appointment is, we see it in the email, the doctor's appointment is for tomorrow. I got the sentence out. If we send the email, it's just going to send like that and the doctor's appointment's today. So there's, I don't think there's any point in us saying, we well, can probably phone, it's all fine. Sure like and phone. Where's my mobile? I must put it in my pocket. Kill posters all. Okay. So I assume this is a bathroom. I say that while looking at the bathroom. Well, technically the toilet. <laughs> I like to think I did just correctly. Um... None of this looks like tracer fluid. I don't know what tracer fluid looks like, but I assume it wouldn't be in here either. Quite a spacey shower though. I don't want to keep the doctor waiting. I'll shower when I get back. Hmm. Fair enough. There's no point in that light being on. Actually, there's no point in this light being on then. God. This place is a bit messy. There we go. Um, yeah, I was going to look over here, wasn't I? I've got a book. Mapping Minds by Albert Isaacson. Widely praised as one of the most comprehensive yet accessible texts about the anatomy of the human brain, its function and our perception of consciousness. Find out how your brain is dependent on its body, why the brain is simply not a computer, and a multitude of other interesting facts that will make your head spin. This edition also includes two new chapters about the development of the brain and how it affects our behaviour in different stages of our lives. Massive recoil, so this must be the first movie. John Hu is a corrupt cop working in Hong Kong. One day, his life is turned upside down as he meets Amber, a mysterious foreigner who is kept prisoner by the Golden Dragon Triad. Get ready to go rogue, for it's time to go against the Triad, the police, and the supernatural forces of the underground. Get ready for massive recoil. Go. Cool. Right. Watching oh. TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. Well, there was, there's no desk, so you're... I mean, technically, you're looking at the screen, but you're not exactly watching TV. This place really is a mess. Um, right. Tracer fluid. <clears throat> there we go. God, we have quite a few empty packages and stuff. What's this? Can't tell if this is glass or not. Hold on, let's throw it. Okay, it's glass. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? It's still moving. I guess to be answered if it's glass. Oh. I just wanted to clean up a little bit. Did I, like, manage to throw that out the door and it's rolling down the hallway? I think I did. <laughs> Whoops. Anything in the oven? No. Eh, no point taking that out. Various other bits and pieces. I'm not going to bend everything I say while I bend something else. I can still hear the glass. Strange. Okay, we're looking for tracer fluid. It wouldn't be in the fridge, right? Surely. Nothing but fast food. Should buy something healthier on my way home. I agree. Stack these in, damn it. 
I mean, I assume they're empty, but still, it's better than on top of the fridge. Oh, to do. Remind Jesse, pick up meds and flowers for funeral. When did the accident happen again? So Ashley's still not been buried. Wait, 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 wait. Today's... Oh, did I not shut the bathroom door? Today is the... 2nd of May. The accident happened on... the 9th of April. Maybe it's someone else's funeral I'm going to then. Or I've just not updated the to-do list. But the remind Jesse thing makes me think I have. Okay, now we know that the other one's glass, I can put it in the, the sink to be washed up. I assume this mug needs to be washed too. Um, yes, I have effectively turned this into Clean up your apartment simulator. There it is. Oh. This? Yes, it is. Let's drink it. Feels like milk, but the taste. It's like sucking on a penny. Oh, don't hurt your head even further, Simon. It's the last thing you need. I can't, I can't stop. Now I've started, I'm determined to see cleaning this up till the end. Okay, is there anything else I can clean up? I should probably pick up that mug. Can I rotate it? You know what? It's fine. Actually, no. There we go. There. I feel at least a little bit better. Tidy, you know, tidy apartment, tidy mind. I'm nodding. You can't see it, but I am nodding. Um. Okay. We have keys. We have post that we are apparently not opening. To Simon Jarrett. Um. Whatever our address is, I can't read the writing. All right. I guess we're heading out the door. Maybe we'll find our glass on our way out. Everyone, probably shouldn't speak to strangers. Ooh, coffee. Ooh, phone. Is that me? Must be me. I'm buzzing. Um. Oh, so this is a guy who we were supposed to email about work, right? And then I decided not to, and then I said we can phone him and let him know we're not coming in. Can I ignore him? Oh, well, never. I, I don't know if I actually pressed that or not. I, I sure. Never mind. He'll work out I'm not coming into work. It's fine. When I don't turn up, he'll realise. <laughs> 